an update to our WSAZ investigation. No ambulance. We've been telling you for a couple of weeks about people in one county calling 911, but being told there's no help to send. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson has been asking the county what it plans to do to fix the problem, and tonight has a look at a new possible solution. No ambulance when you need it most. Our WSAZ investigation finding that is a growing concern and reality in Wayne County. It's a situation that plays out in several 911 calls we've obtained, including this one from the family of a man having chest pains. Wayne County 911. Yes, I just called about my brother. No one's marked in route yet. Is there a way that you guys can drive him? That man survived. Melissa Foster's family was not so lucky. When she was found unresponsive but breathing, her family called 911. They were told no ambulance was available from the nearest station. Where are y'all at? Y'all got to come on. I'm working on getting an ambulance now, ma'am. It was about 25 minutes before an ambulance arrived from a station slightly further away. Her family left reeling. I mean, I know people say when it's your time to die, it's your time to die, but God blesses us with doctors and EMS squads to help us. And they wasn't there to help us. So I wanted answers. I found ambulances in Wayne County come from volunteer fire departments that are not always staffed. Our WSAZ investigation finding that reality requires significant help from neighboring Cabell County. I also looked at state law finding it is the duty of county commissions to provide emergency ambulance service. So in December, I asked Wayne County Commission President Jeff Maddox for his solution. There is no immediate resolution to the problems that we're having right now. Our investigation leading these state lawmakers from Wayne County to call on commissioners to act on a plan. A week later, progress at a county commission meeting. I think that we will roll out a plan for this in the next 30 days. So I went back to the commission Thursday. Randy Chapman is assistant chief and ambulance driver for the Wayne Volunteer Fire Department. He estimates his department only collects 30% of what it bills insurance, and that is the EMS operations only source of revenue. He says it is simply not enough money to staff ambulances around the clock. But if we can't crew the, the trucks, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely, it's terrible, but there's nothing we can do about it. You know, when everybody goes to, to bed at night, we've got uh, beds across this community filled with babies and young children and older people, and it weighs on us. And whenever we can't respond to them, that, that takes a toll on our, our fire departments. With the need for more money, commissioners turning to a new potential source. The county has received about $1.6 million from opioid settlements so far. The commission president asking the West Virginia Attorney General's office if that money can be spent on ambulances and EMS operations. Attorney General staff saying yes to both and suggesting the county should add up how much EMS has spent responding to drug overdose calls to justify use of the settlement dollars. Providing funding for your EMS service is one of the core beliefs and one of the reasons why the settlement was set up the way it would work. The assistant fire chief relieved to know financial help could be on the way. What could that mean? That could mean a lot of people's lives. I mean, honestly, because we could short-term staff until we could come with a long-term fix. Commissioners say they are finalizing details, but plan to use most of the opioid money for EMS. What does having access to that opioid settlement money mean in relation to this EMS issue? It is a path forward that we, we did not have before. It gives us an opportunity to potentially help our uh, EMSs that are currently servicing the county and, and developing more of a hybrid system moving forward, which is what we're hoping to do. Maddox says the commission remains on schedule to roll out its plan to address the lack of ambulance service by late February. Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3, Wayne County. So there are other options the commission says they are still looking into, including placing an EMS excess levy on the May ballot. Wayne County already has a fire levy. However, firefighters say that money only supports firefighting activities. And the commission meets again the morning of February 12th, a little more than a week away. We will be there and bring you the details. We'll be right back.